Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about seven major indicators that the PCV valve in your engine is having issues or about to go bad. I will also give you some tips on how to test PCV valve to make necessary repairs, so make sure to watch the video till the end to learn the simple trick. The PCV, or positive crankcase ventilation, is a tiny spring-loaded one-way valve that plays an important role managing crankcase pressure and temperatures by venting blowby gases from inside the crankcase back into the engine to be burned off. The PCV is entirely operated by the engine's vacuum. When the piston moves down in the cylinder, it creates a vacuum in the cylinder. The vacuum pull spring loaded pintle inside the PCV valve to resurrect the flow of gases from the crankcase. This is done for smooth idling. Under hard acceleration, vacuum lowers and allows pintle inside PCV valve to move down a bit. This widens the opening for gases flow. In this way, PCV valve prevents releasing of gases directly into atmosphere and helps reduce emissions. Without it working properly, contaminants build up internally over time. Now, let's dive into symptoms of a bad PCV valve. Number one, increased oil consumption. Excess oil consumption is often the first clue of PCV valve problems. A stuck open PCV allows too much vapors carrying oil into the combustion chambers to be burned up. Resultantly, you will observe blue or white smoke from exhaust tailpipe. Number two, oil leaks. Along with burning oil, failing PCV also cause oil leaks at gaskets and seals around the engine. This is because excess crankcase pressure forces oil out anywhere it can escape. Valve covers are most common, but rear main seals and oil pans may also start leaking. Number three, rough idle and stalling. Erratic idle with weird RPM fluctuations can also point to PCV valve problems. Crankcase pressure spikes due to clogged and stuck closed PCV valve also overwhelm engine sensors and makes RPM control go erratic. Vacuum leaks make this even worse. This is because when PCV valve is stuck open, an unmetered air also enters the engine which is not detected by MAF sensor. This disturbs air to fuel ratio and causes rough idle. Number four, white smoke from exhaust. Thick whitish smoke, especially at startup, but also accelerating or under load indicates oil vapor is being burned and exiting the tailpipe. This links directly back to the PCV system not functioning. Number five, oil in intake tracks. Pop off your air filter cover and intercooler tubes if equipped with a turbo. Oil residue coating the inside is a clear sign of blowby vapors entering the air intake stream. Your PCV system is absolutely not containing them. Number six, oil sludge buildup. Failing PCV valve also allow moisture and fuel residues to accumulate in the crankcase. Over thousands of heat cycles, this turns into thick, harmful gelatinous sludge around covers and inside oil passages. Look for thick, gooey deposits that inhibit oil flow. Sludge blocks vital lubrication networks. Number seven, check engine light. A bad PCV valve can also result in check engine light. Use an OBD2 scanner to read trouble codes that can trigger check engine light. P0171 code means air to fuel mixture is too lean due to stuck open PCV valve. P0300 means random misfires. P053A and P052E relate to PCV system faults. Now, to check a bad PCV valve, remove it and shake it to listen for the internal ball rattling. Also check that air only flows one direction through it. If air goes both ways, back pressure isn't being handled properly. If you don't want to remove PCV valve, you can test it by removing the oil filler cap and place a tissue or rag on its opening. If the rag is not being held against the opening, it means there is no vacuum and PCV valve is malfunctioning. Lastly, you can pinch the vacuum line with the engine running. You should hear a slight change in engine idle speed. No change indicates PCV valve might be stuck open. You can use brake cleaner to gently clean PCV valve. However, it can damage your rubber seals. Also, passages of PCV get obstructed over time and springs get weak. So this is obviously not worth the effort for a low-cost part. If you're seeing one or more of those symptoms emerge, be proactive about getting that PCV valve replaced immediately with a new OEM part. It's only $10 to $15 for most vehicles and can save you a ton of headaches down the road. Don't wait for total failure. Around 60 to 100,000 miles is also a good interval for preventative replacement of PCV valve. Replacing the valve may temporarily help reduce oil burning or leaks. But if symptoms return, larger engine issues could be the culprit like bad piston rings, valve guide, or leaky fuel injector seals. Alright guys, that wraps up this breakdown on identifying failing PCV valves before it leads to huge repair bills or strands you on the side of the road. Also, check the video description for a link to my in-depth blog article on bad PCV valve symptoms and function. Let me know in the comments if you managed to find the cause of PCV valve failure. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more DIY Auto tips coming soon. Thanks for watching.